Hey guys, it's Melanie and Xander, and today we have a massive, oh my goodness, ah, massive unboxing for you. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're about a month behind on unboxing these. So I thought we would just clump them all together in one big video. So we have the November and December um, unboxings of Tinker Crate, Owl Crate Jr., and Geek Fuel. So this may take a little while, so get yourself a snack and sit back and enjoy. All right, so I think let's move these out of the way. Okay, so we're going to start with Tinker Crate. Let me tell you a little bit about Tinker Crate. So... What you get is an awesome project with all the materials to create a creative, innovative STEM project, a blueprint with detailed step-by-step -step instructions, a tinker zine, which is a little magazine with additional science experiments and activities, and online video tutorials with tips and tricks. Tinker Crate is a science and engineering crate aimed at ages 9 to 16 and up, but they also have other lines for other ages and interests. They have the Cricut Crate for newborns ages 0 to 2 years old, the Koala Crate Play and Learn for ages 3 to 4, the Kiwi Crate Science Art and More for ages 5 to 8, and a Doodle Crate Art and Design for ages 9 to 16 and up. And all crates are $19.95 a month, plus free shipping to the U.S., and it's $6.95 shipping to Canada. And if there are any discount codes for any of these boxes, I'll make sure to put that down in the description. Okay. So I believe this one is the, this first one here is the November one. So let's open that up first. So it shows us here that it is the hydraulic claw. Make your own hydraulic claw. Wait, is this like one of those cream machine things? Like one of those things that you move the joystick and it goes down? I don't know. Let's see. I think it is. So we have our little blueprint here. So we open this up and yeah, it's like a... Kind of like the little crane game type thing here. And inside it tells you, you know, how to build it all. And then we have the Tinker Zine building with hydraulics. And in this issue it has big hydraulics, water at work, plastic cup squirt gun, like how to make that. Hydraulics design game, how to make a hydraulic elevator, amazing animatronics. Boy and his robot, how to make stuffy puppets, and uh, other tinkering things. So this is like really cool. It's just different stuff that you can do and different little articles and games and that kind of stuff. So there's that. And then it comes with all the different pieces, parts you need. Uh, like we have, we have the little tubes to put the water in for the hydraulics. These big clothespin type thing. This looks like um, zip ties and some little foam things. These look like a, uh, what do you call, the little, not push pins, but the things you put in and the little sides, the little ends flip open. Yeah. And then lots of like different cardboard pieces. And then we've got a couple of tubes for the uh, water to be pushed through. And that is all that's in this one. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this one says for December, it's make your own light up planetarium. So inside looks like that. So we're gonna make our own light up thing. Like, oh, looks nice. like so. It shines on the wall. Yeah, it puts like the constellations and stuff on your wall. That's pretty neat. And so it's got planetarium viewing tips. And it says look for these groups of stars on your planetarium. It's got all your parts. And oh, it tells, also tells you what you need. Like in this case, it gives you everything you need. You, but it says you will also need your Tinker Crate box and some scissors. Anyway, and then it tells you everything you're supposed to do here. Let me look on this other one. On the hydraulic claw, yeah, it says... It has everything you need except for a glass of water and some scissors. All right, back to the planetarium. The Tinker Zine is about stargazing. And in this issue, it has Sky Seasons Planetarium. It says watch how to change the stars through the year. Uh, the motion of the stars, make a quadrant. 
Celestial Navigation and Tinker Library. So it's lots of different little articles and again more things you can do and learn and just cool. And then we have all the parts. So here it looks like we've got a little battery pack. It's got a push pin. It's got some little LED lights, your batteries, and a little pack for your batteries to go in. Some little foam sticky things and of different sizes and shapes. This little wooden dowel. And this is part of your little planetarium. And I guess this is the base and some other little cardboard pieces. And then this, it tells you like where to put your sticky foam and things like that. And they're like little push out things. Even on the back it says where to put your sticky foam. And we got these weird little screw looking things. And that's all that's in this box. Okay, so Xander wanted to do the Geek Fuel boxes next. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Geek Fuel is devoted to designing an incredible experience, exploring and curating goods from all our favorite fandoms, games, books, and more. We share this enthusiasm and excitement in the form of perfect packages sent out to geeks all over the world. It's $18.90 a month. They have one month, three months, six months, and 12 month subscriptions. They do ship to many different countries. And if you click my link below, you can get 20% off your first box. And again, if there's any other codes, I'll put those as well. Okay, so first up is our November box. And when we open it up, it looks like so. So inside is always the Geek Fuel magazine. And it just, it has the, ooh, hello Buffy. I'm a huge Buffy fan. Um, it always has stuff related to things in the box. Different oh, articles. Buffy. Buffy was mm -hmm. the first thing. Different gift things that you can buy. Which, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Anyway, and then they have some like Geek Fuel unboxers. Which would be really cool if we ended up, in, ended up being on one of those, wouldn't that? So, a couple of things that are always in Geek Fuel boxes. There's always a t-shirt. Um, and you tell them what size that you need. There's always a, a, game. Not a, Steam game. A, a Steam game, like a downloadable Steam game. And there's always like a little enamel pin as well. Yeah, and then the Geek Fuel magazine. But they also include a few other things as well. Alright, so the first thing in the box is this. I don't know. It looks like some kind of Jurassic Park type thing. Probably an egg. I'm guessing this is our t-shirt. Yes. Now I, I get the t-shirts in Xander size. Well, they only go, they only have adult sizes, so I get them small. So some of times, most of the times they're too big for him, but he'll grow into them. So they work good for night shirts. So this is, it says Life Finds a Way. Isla, Isla Nublar, Costa Rica. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is from. Jurassic Park. I don't, I don't know. All right, next we have Mopee's Plush by Funko. Oh yeah, that's the... It looks like Deadpool. Like it is, it got a Marvel, it does have a Marvel tag, so it is oh, a license. It's a different type, like, it's a different color Deadpool for the Deadpool. So it looks like you could get one of four color Deadpools. You can get the gray, red, yellow, or blue, and he got the gray one. All right, next we have... Is that the pin? Combot. Yeah, this is our pin. It came in this little package here. Oh, hold on. I'll, this is Mortal Kombat, yeah. So, Combot Edition. Mm -hmm. So, there's different robots you could get. And it shows you on the back which one you can get and then which one is the rare one. So, he got the... So, he got this one. This guy right here. It looks like he's about to battle. That's super cute. Next we have collectible 3D wood model and book. Includes an, an at act book. Easy to assemble laser cut wood pieces, step by step instructions, coloring and crafting ideas. So it's, you have a book and the little wood laser cut wood pieces to make this uh, this Star Wars guy here. That's pretty cool. So you punch all this stuff out and you build it and then you color it. All right, next. Is that a journal? It's gift wrap. Yep. So it's wrapping paper. Let me pull this out. So it looks like we have different 
wrapping paper. This one's got... That, that one's me. This right is there. totally Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's like ninja stars and swords and staffs and pizza. I'm just feeling like <laughs> that's Bob's Burgers. Yeah, and then we got one that's got like Bob, burgers. That, that's Bob's Burgers because it's a cartoon type. This one totally says Simpsons to me. It's mm -hmm. donuts. Yeah. Well, that's pretty I, neat. I think they all have something like cartoon hands. So that, that would be a good, yep. like, birthday kind of wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. All right, next we have the downloadable Steam game. It is Lumini, which actually looks really pretty. On um, the code, you just peel the sticker off. This is a $13 value. You peel the card off and the code's on the back. It says, help the colorful Lumini creatures restore their forgotten home world in this relaxing adventure game. With a soothing soundtrack and flowing gameplay, you can use the movements of your Lumini Swarm to overcome obstacles, solve puzzles, collect the planet's energy, and grow and evolve with new abilities. Cool. And then the little card that tells us about everything that was in the box and all of their, like, the Geek Fuel community information. Okay, so that's all that's in this box. And let's open up the Christmas one. And something about this Christmas one, they actually have, it looks like there's cutouts or like pop outs i don't know what this one is some kind of sign and this one looks like a christmas tree all right so let's open this up yep so inside it looks like we have a geek fuel sign and that you add to a playset and a pop out tree to add to the playset whatever playset's in here oh my goodness i see gizmo i love gizmo oh and it's like a this part the white part of his hat is like soft velvety. Wait. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I love Gizmo. It's from a movie called Gremlins, which I, is on Netflix I, right now. I know. Okay. So, yeah, inside again we have just the different articles. Oh, wait. I have like a cute little ad with Gizmo in it. Uh, our favorite Christmas movies and TV like Gremlins, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Home Alone, Home Alone 2, etc. Some Star Wars stuff, and a little gift guide, which is always super cool. Oh my gosh, they have a gizmo plush. I had one of those when I was little. Yes. Nice. This. Oh, and then the gremlin on the back. Ooh, creepy. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Alright, so what Xena wants me to pull out first is, what is this? It's South Park. It is a kid robot. It's a Geek Fuel exclusive. It is South glitter. South it says Osmo South, South Park. Two butters scotch sent from Japan. It looks like this guy. It's supposed to be a figure. And it comes with the this tiny little itty bitty. Oh my goodness. It's a little tube of toothpaste. Maybe, maybe, wait, see if you can open it. Maybe I could stick it in his hand. <laughs> okay. That's cute. Alright, next we have Geek Fuel Exclusive. It's Epic Enamels, The Lord of the Pins. Okay, so. Oh, that looks cool. That's really cool. Fellowship Edition. This looks really cool. GF Tokens. Okay, I can. And it shows, like, the different pins that you could get. There's Robo Bag Pins, Gandroid the Gray, Laserless, Gimbot, Cyborg, Protocol Um. It says one pin to rule them all. And it looks like he got Gimbot. And for Gimbot, it says Gimbot has known from the beginning that it's not about whether you're a dwarf or an elf that matters, it's how. You work together to defeat evil. Don't let this small don't let his small stature fool you. This pen knows his way around an axe. Alright, next we have the shirt. It's very colorful. I don't know what it is, but hold on, let me show it. Super colorful. We got a dragon. I don't know. This guy looks like something from a cart from like a video game. He very much reminds me of some kind of Mario type character. Maybe it's the turtle shell on his arm. But, here you go. Next we have the Galactic Empire Emblem Keyring. That's kind of cool. 
Declare your allegiance to Emperor Palpatine with this screen-accurate emblem of the Galactic Empire. The six-spoke crest, symbolizing the strength of the tyrannical regimen, appears on the uniforms of Imperial troops. It's a must for every well-dressed Imperial officer and a smart accessory for your keys. It looks like so. And then the downloadable Steam game is Poncho. And it says, and this is a $5 value. A robot, a poncho, and a journey of discovery. Make your way through this wonderful world of pixelated parallax platforming to solve the ultimate puzzle, who is poncho? And then again, we have what's all in the box. Okay, so this little robot figure. Oh, he goes and there's... Okay, so the box turns into this South Park play set. So we're supposed to cut... Hold on, let me do this real quick. Okay. Where's the little robot guy? All right. And this is how it goes. <laughs> how cute is that? Okay, so next we have the Alcrate Junior Boxes. It's a subscription box for kids 8 to 12. Each month, your young reader will receive a magical delivery featuring a brand new middle grade novel, exclusive goodies from the author, three to five unique and usable items built around that month's theme that encourage curiosity, creativity, and imagination. It's $27.99 a month. They have one month, three month, and six month subscriptions, and they do ship internationally. Okay, so first off, we're going to open the November box. And it looks like this. Okay, so the theme for November was curses. And it has all our spoilers on the back, so we'll set that aside. Oh, look! Worms! Worms! And worms! Okay, so the first thing in here, it says, Good Luck Charms. And this is by Al Crate Jr. Oh, they're temporary tattoos. Alright, so we got some temporary tattoos. I'm getting the worms attached to my arms here. And then we have a little drawstring bag here. Let's see what's in it. Ooh. It's a pretty rock. Whoops. Becca would actually really like that. She likes crystals and all of that. Oh yeah. Sandra likes this too, but yeah, this is a pretty purple crystal. There you go. And then, let's see, we got some more worms. And we have some pencils here. One says Crucio, one says Imperio, and one says Avada Kedavara. And there's regular pencils. And these are also by Al Crate, Junior Exclusive. Set of three unforgivable curse pencils. And uh, there is a code. To save 10% on your first order of pers personalized stationery with code ALCRATE10 at jubileedesignstudio.com. Oh, and then there's a little card here about the um, stone. It's an amethyst, and it says chemical formula is SiO2, birthstone for February. Amethyst, a semi-precious stone, is a variety of quartz with color ranging from light pinkish violet to deep purple. It's found all over the world. With the best varieties coming from Siberia, Sri Lanka, Brazil, and India. Medieval European soldiers wore amethyst amulets as protection in battle in the belief that the stone could heal and keep them cool-headed. The stone is also believed to protect the wearer from all types of harm including psychic attack, ill wishes, and paranormal while returning that power back to the universe after being transformed into positive, loving energy. Alright, next we have... Oh, he's freaking out over this. It says, Cursed Door. It's a little postcard from Gravity Falls. Avoid this door on Main Street. But yeah, it's just a little postcard. Oh, it looks like we have two books in this box. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. Wait. I'm still going to read this. Grimm's Fairy Tales. It's a paperback of Grimm's Fairy Tales, which is really awesome. Step into the dark forest and discover a wondrous world of magic and trickery. In these timeless tales, you'll meet Hansel and Gretel, Rumpelstiltskin, Tom Thumb, the Goose Girl, and many other familiar characters, as well as discover some less well-known ones, such as Old Sultan and Peter and the Goat Herd. Peter the Goat Herd. 
Enchanting, mysterious, and often chilling, Jacob and Willem Grimm's original fairy tales delve deep into every secret of the human heart. Fear, greed, friendship, and love. And will stay with you forever. I'm excited about this one. That is really cool. Even if he doesn't read it, I totally will. I, I'm so excited about that. Alright, next we have a pin. And it is so cute. Look at that. It's like a little, um... Poor little voodoo teddy bear. <laughs> it's Wait, super cute. Can see it? And we got some more worms. And then we get to the actual book in the box. And it is Nevermore. And I've actually Wait. been seeing lots of people talk about this book on BookTube. And lots of other BookTubers have been reading it and have really enjoyed it themselves. So I'll probably be checking this book out as well. Hold on. Wait, is Nevermore that poem? No. But you're, you're thinking of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, this is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. The Trials of Morrigan Crow. It says, Morrigan Crow is cursed. Born on eventide, the unluckiest day for any child to be born. Morrigan is blamed for all local misfortunes, from hailstorms to heart attacks. And worst of all, the curse dooms her to die at midnight on her 11th birthday. But, as Morrigan awaits her fate, a strange and remarkable man named Juniper North appears, chased by black smoke hounds and shadowy hunters on horseback. He whisks her away into the safety of a secret magical city called Nevermore. It's in Nevermore that Morrigan discovers Juniper, Jupiter has chosen her to contend for a place in the city's most prestigious organization, the Wondrous Society. In order to join and to stay in the safety of Nevermore for good, Morgan must compete in four difficult and dangerous trials against hundreds of other children, or she'll have to leave the city to confront her deadly fate. Perfect for fans of Neil Gaiman as well as the Harry Potter and Mysterious Benedict Society series. This fast-paced plot and imaginative world has a fresh new energy and a take on magic that will appeal to all generations with a story that grabs you from the first page and doesn't let go until the final word. There's a couple of little illustrations of chapter headers, anyway. Let's see what the book looks like. It's purple and gold. Here, have a look at that. And then we have the book plate that's autographed. We have a little notepad I think it's right. for Hotel Duclayon. Something from the story, I'm sure. And then the letter from the author. Dear Alcrate Junior Reader, Nevermore is roughly the sum of my favorite fascinations. Giant cats, red hair, Halloween, impending doom, cities that feel like puzzles, hotels that feel like treasure boxes, and public transport that feels like it might take you somewhere magical. What I love about cities is what I love about trains, is what I love about hotels, they bring together all different kinds of people. They are many layered and complex. They keep secrets in their walls and buried beneath their floors. And they have the potential to tell hundreds, thousands, millions of stories. Nevermore is the story of Morgan Crow, a girl whose courage, humor, and strangeness demanded a setting to match. Nevermore and the Hotel Duclion. Are peculiar and wondrous places because Morgan herself is peculiar and wondrous. The city belongs to her and now it belongs to you too. Step boldly. And then on the back it says greetings from Nevermore. And then the theme for December is Abracadabra. Presto changeo, we've pulled a fantastic new story out of our hats this December. Sure to astound and amaze. Join a ragtag gang of lucky plucky characters on a magic-filled adventure full of friendship and bravery. This box will feature a signed book perfect for fans of the circus, synonymous Bosch and Hugo Cabaret. All right, so let's stick all this stuff back in the box. Oh, and I wanted to look and see what it said about those pencils. It says, use your unforgivable cursed pencil set to take notes in defiance against the dark arts and protect yourself from powerful incantations. Alright, and so the last box is the December Alcrate Jr. box, and it looks like so. And as we just read, the theme is Abracadabra. There's the card. We'll have to look at this when we get through the box. Okay, so first off, let's get rid of these worms. More worms. 
Oh, there's so many. Okay, so first thing in the box is a little top hat. It says wiggle your fingers. And ba -da! Yeah, it's a little finger puppet. <laughs> you think it's a regular top hat? No. <laughs> That is just too cute. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. I was having way too much fun with that. And then we've got 52 cool tricks for kids. This best-selling deck has now been completely revised and updated, packed with imaginative tricks, including live volcano, genie in the bottle, disappearing coins. This deck is sure to amuse and intrigue both magician and audience. So that's cool. He can do some magic tricks. And we got some more worms. Oh, and I love these things. These are little, mag the magnetic book cards, or bookmarks. I didn't actually want one of those. Well, you have two of them now. They have one that says, mag reading is magic, and another has a little magician. That's the front. And then the back, this one looks like a book. And then the back is a little magician guy. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. I just love these things. Then we have a super cool patch that he could put on a jacket or something. This is Master Magician. Very cool. And a little pin that's got a rabbit coming out of a top hat. And some more worms. And then we get down to the book. And it's the magic... Oh wait, there's something. Okay. There's a pencil in there. Anyway, it's the Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. Anyway, so looks like this. <laughs> Lemony Snicket blurbed it. Lemony Snicket says, I read this book with excitement and delight and the increasing suspicion that it was going to make me disappear. Okay, so it says, From the mind of award-winning actor Neil Patrick Harris comes the magical first book in a new series with plenty of tricks up its sleeve. When street magician Carter runs away, he never expects to find friends and magic in a sleepy New England town. But like any good trick, Things changed instantly as greedy B.B. Basso and his crew of crooked carnies arrived to steal anything and everything they can get their sticky fingers on. After a fateful encounter with the local purveyor of illusion, Dante Vernon, Carter teams up with five other like-minded illusionists. Together, using both teamwork and magic, they set out to save the town of Mineral Wells from Basso's villainous clutches. These six magic misfits will soon discover adventure, friendship, and their own self-worth in this delightful new series. And that just sounds so cute. Wow, some short chapters. Like a couple of pictures in there. Not a lot, but... Is it like one, huh, is it like one page in the chapter? Oh, it looks like there's steps telling you how to do some magic tricks in there as well. This is pretty cool. Yeah, there's different illustrations and stuff in it. Let's see what the book looks like. Sort of a brick color with gold. All right. And then the goodies that come with it, for one, there is a pencil in here. It says The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. And it says it's made from recycled tires. Huh. That's pretty cool. And it's all like black. That's really cool. Made from recycled tires. And then we have a print, which has uh, The Magic Misfits. Looks like a Jack of Diamonds playing card. And on the back is the letter from the author. It says, Dear Al Craig Jr. Reader, Well, hello there. I don't believe we've met. If we have, please excuse me. I'm writing at the moment and have yet to look up and see who I am speaking with. But without let looking, let me tell you your future. You are very attractive. I knew, you would, I knew you'd agree. You like to read. Uncanny intuition, huh? And you are about to embark on a unique magical journey. That's a reference to the book you're receiving. I'm not a travel agent. Well, how did I do? Was I, was your mind read and blown? I'm very excited for you to read this unique fil book filled with adventure, illusion, secret doors, acrobatics, carnival games, espionage, barbershop quartets, intrigue, a spider woman, and a talking bird. Enjoy reading it. I sure enjoyed writing it. Best, Neil Patrick Harris. How cool. 
All right, and then we have the card that tells us what our theme for January is. So our theme for January is a sugar and spice. That just looks yummy. It says, we've mixed up something truly delicious to kick off the new year. Perfect for readers and bakers alike. Recipe for a perfect January. Half a cup family, half a cup friendship, heaping teaspoon of magic, pinch of trouble. Mix thoroughly for a wonderful new story full of diversity and heart. Serve with a warm mug of cocoa and he's swimming in a pool of cocoa <laughs> well i'm looking forward to next month too because that just sounds like there's going to be something yummy in there <laughs> well that is all that's in this box and all of these boxes we've gone through all six boxes so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this click that subscribe button down below and until next time 